Welcome to Bedrock, a hotbed of racing since the Stone Age. Maybe. The game offers 12 characters and 12 tracks to race around. Tracks and courses are unlocked by collecting all 8 dinosaur eggs per track and getting a top 3 finish. By collecting 2 dinosaur bones per track, you can pimp your ride Stone Age style. This is applied to all characters no matter who you've raced as. Not that they have any noticeable effects on your driving. Dinosaur meat stakes dotted around the track also give you brief speed bursts. Once you get into routine, each race is an exercise in familiarity. The tracks all look the same, and once you're in first place it becomes a two horse race between you and whichever computer controlled character sits in second. Even switching characters offers little in way of variation, with only subtle differences between each racer. You soon realise that you haven't had to use brakes for, well, ever. The handling is okay, but nothing special. And like most karting games, there are no power slides or drifting. There are the obligatory time trial and multiplayer modes, but once you've played through the game once and unlocks everything, that will probably just be the last time you pick it up. Hey, have you met my friend Barney? <laughs> oh, they are gonna love this. <laughs> oh, best friend! <laughs> I don't quite believe what I'm seeing here. He is reversing in lava to get the egg. Unbelievable! It's going to be quite a comeback from here if he's going to win. He's last and it's only halfway around the first lap. Can he do it? 